Yo, what's poppin', my people? It's your boy CTG back at you guys with another banger of a video. But as you guys can see, today we are not playing UFC 4. Today we are playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and we're gonna be doing this solo dolo. This will be my first ever Texas Chainsaw right, Massacre we'll win. Solo dolo, and we're gonna be using Sunny. Of course, black man on black man. We gotta make sure Sunny survives today. You feel me? We gotta make sure he survives. So here we're in the South Cell, trying not to make noise. For those of you guys that haven't had the pleasure of playing this game, this is probably one of the funnest games I have played in a very, very long time, man. It, it, whether you play it by yourself or you play it with friends, super fun uh, and very, very... Um, Hi, Julie. If you have bad anxiety, I wouldn't sure. recommend playing it, man, because this shit will get your heart pumping. I'm look for a uh, and it, it's just quick. super... Overall, just a super really fun game to play. So here, we're trying to find an unlock tool to get out of one of these highlighted doors right here. Uh, they're only going to stay highlighted for, I believe, the first 30 seconds of the game. So we've got to creep around quietly right here. Now, unlike a lot of other people that I have seen play this game, I'm not trying to speed run through this shit. I'm not. I'm trying to play the game the way that the game is meant to be played. And you guys are gonna hear me uh talk trying to talk to my teammates too trying to you know just be a good teammate but they ain't trying to talk back so since they ain't trying to talk back fuck them niggas then you feel what i'm saying y'all could die if y'all want to die in the game of course in the game of course so here we're just still we're just creeping around we're trying to follow i believe that's julie right here but i think i might be a connie over there but ain't nobody talking and this chick runs through the bones all quick to try to make noise so that way Leatherface knows where we at. But we ain't trying to die today. We trying to be the outlier. We're trying to survive as a black man in a horror movie. If you guys don't know about that, then you need to go watch every horror movie pretty much. You can almost guarantee, especially back in the day, the black dude was going to die. So we're going to make sure Sonny survives the day. But Grandpa has been awakened because people have been making so much damn noise. Acting like this is a damn carnival. Like they don't know how to play the game. Like, look, he's making a whole bunch of noise. And then he moves. Leland, if you don't stop moving. So, for those of you guys that haven't played this game too, when Grandpa makes a noise, which you guys have already heard, you can't move or you'll be highlighted and the killers will know where you're at. So, we don't want to be anywhere near Leland at this moment, who's the guy that made noise. So, we're trying to move. Here we found that box. Now we're going to get the unlock tool. But I heard a little bit of noise, so I'm trying to move away because I think I heard Leatherface coming. And one of my teammates has already escaped the basement. So that's cool. That's cool. He was able to get out. Now we got to get out. And it's crazy the way some people play this game too, man. If you're playing with randoms and not friends, just be aware. These, these dudes will run people into you like if they're getting chased by a killer they're gonna run in the direction that they think that you're in so that way the hopefully in their mind the killer gets off of them look and that dude that person's making noise so we're gonna stay clear the hell and look it's leland again the motherfucking leland just making a whole bunch of damn noise so let's get far away from his ass because we're trying to live today so now that we got the unlock tool we got to find the door Leatherface is in that room right there, so we're going to try to avoid him. And the guy who just escaped the room actually just got executed. So that lets you know they're on the lookout upstairs. we got to be real, real careful as we make our way around this big-ass maze in the basement. So here we're just creeping around, slowly but surely moving. I know there's a door in that next room, but Grandpa's going to make that weird-ass noise again. And see? See how he was highlighted over there in the corner? That's what happens when you move. So we got to stay real, real quiet over here, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking around. We're scoping around the corner. You know, we're scoping around the corner like you, like you tend to do when you see a fine-ass girl walk around the corner. You just kind of, like, look, but you don't look at the same time, you know what I mean? Fellas will know what I mean. Ladies, y'all should know what I mean, too, because you guys, if you turn around and look at him, you'll see him. 
But here we're using Sonny's, his ability right here to see where people are at just by uh, listening to him. And Sonny is actually one of the best characters in the game to use, man. Because that ability, as you guys can see, it's already almost refilled back up. It's one of the best abilities to use alongside Connie who can just unload or unlock everything. So here we're just taking our time still. Creeping around, seeing where Leatherface is at, if he's around. Because we are in his lair right now. And I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm, my palms are sweaty when I'm down here. When I'm upstairs, I'll be alright. But my anxiety is through the damn roof right here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. So we're trying to creep. We're creeping and look you see how that you see how those little those little borders came in that lets you know that one of the killers is around so I don't know why exactly that popped up but we're gonna try to unlock the door right here and you guys see the mini game so when that meter to the far left fills all the way up that means you have you are gonna break your unlock tool so we don't want that to happen so you gotta take your time and Grandpa, I mean, we're going to have to move, Grandpa. Sorry, man. We're going to have to make some noise. We're going to have to make some noise. But that doesn't seem like the killers are around me until right there. We were fine until we weren't. So I'm turning around to look to see if, they're, if the killers are actually right there, which they aren't. So we are all right. Now we're going to make our way through this door. And upstairs we go. All right, now we see the killers are close to us again, so we're going to go ahead and duck. Now, the key to getting out of here is we're going to try to find an exit. We have to find an exit, whether it be through the front or through the back, wherever. But the easiest way to go through is the front. So here we got to stand still again. Or else the killers are going to see us and know exactly where we're at. So we're ducking down low. We're not moving. And now we just need to find an unlock tool for this fr for this front door. So we're looking for one of those boxes again. One of those boxes, exactly what we're looking for. And we find it right here next to this decapitated ass body. That I think it's cooked or something. But we're, gonna, we're going for that unlock tool again. And I don't know what exactly is in this box, but I would imagine it's probably pretty fucking nasty. Probably digging through some fingers. People probably had all kinds of stuff in there, man. You got some some foots in there that have athlete's foot. Your hands gonna be smelling like ass. That'd be the first thing I'd do when I got out of here. Actually, I'd I'd wash my damn hands. I'd have to take a shower. I'm not gonna lie. So here we're trying to go through the front door. Same mini game as downstairs. So the one thing I forgot to tell you guys about this as well is in order for you to unlock pieces of the door, you have to move that meter to where it's green by using your left stick. So you see, I'm gonna move it towards the middle and that's gonna allow me to unlock the other side of the door. And there we are, we're out of the door, but I'm pretty sure the killers get the notifications too. And look, there's grandpa again that we made it out of this front door. Now we're so close to being able to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We're so close that we can't take any chances. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to duck into these bushes, see if Leatherface or anybody else runs through here. And they don't. So we're going to go ahead and kick this generator right here, which is going to unlock the front gate. So we're kicking it. I mean, those are some weak-ass kicks, which y'all know I'm not known for in UFC 4, but it is what it is. So we turn the generator off. We're making our way around the corner and you guys see the stamina meter going down as I'm running and I'm the last victim standing which means they're looking for me but as you can see they're all back down there they're not going to be able to get your boy we made a clean escape as long as we don't make a dumbass mistake and fall or something we're going to be all right we're going to be all right and we're going to make our way around this corner right here and we home 
free, ladies and gentlemen, running for our lives. We were able to get the dub, and Leatherface pissed off because he wasn't able to catch us. But we got the job done, and I believe everybody else other than myself got killed. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button for more content on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But until the next video, guys, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from, and I will see you guys in the next video.